And for those of you that say hair grease doesn't moisturize your hair, well, for me, it does. I said what I said, As and always. I'm not changing on it, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11, and today I'm going to be showing you how I use hair grease to do a wash and go for 2020. Now, last week in my video of how to use hair grease, I showed you the old school method growing up as a child with hair grease. I can't hear you! Just hair grease. And today I'm going to be showing you my traditional wash and go, i.e., curly hair with only hair grease. Now, let me just quickly say guys, this is my hair with hair grease in it. You know, the hair speaks for itself, doesn't it? My scalp is nicely moisturized. And for those of you that say hair grease doesn't moisturize your hair, well, for me, it does. I said what I said. It ain't changing over here. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you what I've currently got in my hair. And then I'm gonna use the same products that I've got in my hair for my wash and go today. So at present, I'm using Dax hair products. And from my last video, I showed you this one. This is Dax hair grease and it contains bergamot, olive oil and castor oil. So that's good for growing the hair. And for my edges, I've got Dax Wave Groom. Now this used to be something that I used back in the day, but I literally used it as an edge control. If you saw from my last video, the grease itself doesn't really work with edges. Like that's a wrap after that. But the wax does the job. Absolutely, it's very, very sticky. Not sticky in the sense that once you get it off your hands, you still feel that stickiness. Once you put it onto your hair, it holds the hair, but the hair becomes soft. So that's it. I'm going to be using my styler and my edge control. So I'm going to go wash my hair out. Yes, I've got lots of hair grease and wax in my hair, and I'm going to wash my hair out with a sulfate shampoo, and I'll come back to you once my hair's all curly again, and I'm going to style it, guys, okay? okay? So I've just washed my hair. I haven't added any shampoo yet, but I just wanted to show you something that I found interesting. Okay, so basically the whole argument is that it's very hard to wash hair grease out of your hair. All I've used on my hair so far is lukewarm water, okay? If you can see, my hair is starting to curl. Therefore, that means that water is actually penetrating my strands. And also the fact that it's taking longer for my hair to curl is something that I actually really like because when I went out with my hair out this week, I just had the hair grease on it and my hair was just out how I showed you previously. I had no indication of a curl whatsoever. My hair just stayed, there was no shrinkage. It was just nice and flowy and just how it was meant to be. So <laughs> that shows that I am gonna continue to use hair grease guys because I love this stuff. I've got quite a bit of wax on this bit, but it's still getting a curl, guys. So it's not impossible to wash it out your hair. So I'm gonna go use my Tresemme, the moisturizing rich shampoo, and then I'll come back to you once my hair is completely washed and curly. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. There you go, guys. My hair is washed out, curly. It's got its bounce back, clean. The routine I remember my mom used to do, she didn't deep condition our hair, but she used to shampoo it twice, wash it out, condition it, and then style it again with grease. I'm not using a leave-in because there was no leave-in to be used back in the day. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the grease to my hair as I would with a gel, let's say, doing a wash and go, so possibly shingling or just sectioning. And then I'm going to apply the Dax Wax as an edge control. As you can see, guys, my curls are back. My hair's not damaged. This is a product that I've never had to replace. The only reason I've had to replace my hair grease is when the hair grease I used, which was Dixie Peach, was actually discontinued. And I'm so heartbroken about that, guys. <laughs> if anyone knows where to get that, someone did mention to me a few years back when I done my other hair grease video, that I can find Dixie Peach on eBay, and I can't, I can't find it anywhere. Anytime I look on Amazon, it's still just unavailable. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to style my hair now, and yeah, I'll show the end results.
Hey guys, so this is what I've got so far. And the funny thing is my hair doesn't feel greasy. I won't be applying grease throughout the week, I'll just leave my hair as it is. But that's what I've got so far. Moisture feels like it's been locked in. That's it. Can't wait to see how this looks when it's dried. But I will show you the ultimate, final, ultimate results. All right guys, so I'm gonna go do this off camera. I'll show you my hair when it's completely styled. And then once my hair is completely dried. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay people, so there you have it. My hair is all done. This is my hair grease wash and go. My hair's still a bit wet. I did blow dry it partly. I want it to dry the rest of the way. Still got a bit of grease in my hands because my hair is still wet. But what happens over the next few days is that my hair soaks in the hair grease and my hair will remain like this and just fluffy and light and yeah. So, this is my traditional wash and go with a hair grease. Do I recommend it? Yes. This side I actually shingled, which I don't recommend <laughs> because it takes long and I think it's putting too much grease on your hair. There, there is a limit now. Okay. But this side I just parted into sections and just smoothed it down the strands and these are the overall results. And I just laid my edges with the wax. And then let me just quickly show you the back. Okay guys, so there you have it. That is my wash and go using hair grease. Oh, by the way, you can buy Dax's shampoo. They do have shampoo. They do think about us. They do have a shampoo that gets rid of their product build up. Okay, so in the Dax wax lid, which is very clever marketing of them. <laughs> Use Dax Removing Shampoo and Dax Restoring Conditioner for complete removal of all Dax products. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing, I will be using their shampoo just because, you know, I'm using the products anyway and I just want to use the same products in the line. So I'm going to let you know how that goes, guys, but that is it. So that is my wash and go with hair grease. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. If you want me to review any more hair greases, guys, then just recommend some for me and I will try them out. Alright guys, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye!